Hey everyone, this is Heidi with another knitting tutorial. In today's video, we're gonna look at an easy repeating lace pattern that's right at home in scarves and shawls. To work this stitch, and for demonstration's sake, I have cast on 17 stitches on my needle right here. Now it's important to know that every row begins and ends with a knit three for this one. This beginning and ending with knit three forms a garter stitch border on your swatch or your finished uh, piece, which you can see here in my swatch, that helps stabilize the entire project as you work on it. So anytime you're looking for something to stabilize a project, turn to garter stitch for an easy and effective way to get that stable edge. So moving on from the first three stitches of our first row, we're going to purl two for this first row, and then we're going to do yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and purl two. So for the rest of this row, you're going to repeat yarn over, knit one, yarn over, purl two, and yarn over, knit one, yarn over, purl two. Then when you get to your last three stitches of the row, you'll end it with a knit three, forming the foundation of that garter stitch edging. There we go, so the first row is done. And moving on, we're gonna start row two with another knit three like before. So we're gonna do knit three, And now we're going to continue on by doing knit two, purl three. And so the purl three should line up where your yarn over, knit one yarn over from the previous row was. Like so. Then knit two again. And we've come to another set of yarn over, knit one yarn over. So we'll purl. Knit two purl three, knit two, which will bring us to the last three stitches, which like always are knit. Now for row three, we'll turn to the other side and do our beginning knit three. And now we're gonna work, because this is on the other side of our project, the opposite of, we did, of what we did in the last row. So we'll start with purl two, followed by knit three. And this pattern is really easy to get the hang of once you realize that you're essentially forming a few rows of stockinette stitch around where those yarn overs are. And so it's really easy to memorize and relaxing to work. Um, this stitch, especially if you do it in a scarf, um, is a great one because it's so easy to memorize. You can do it on the go if you're on a road trip or a train ride or even a plane. So I'm just finishing my knit three purl two before I come to my last three stitches, which will be knit. Now the fourth row of this repeating stitch is where it gets exciting. Really the first row and the fourth row of the repeat are where all the action is. So we'll turn our work to the other side and begin with our knit three. And then we'll knit two more before bringing our yarn to the front to purl the next three stitches together as one. So we'll put our right hand needle through three loops and yarn over sweeping all three loops off. Let's show you that one more time with our knit two then we come to the set of three purls, which we will purl together, purl three together as one. Knit two, purl three together. Knit two. And coming to the last three stitches of our row, we will knit those guys. One, two, and three. So really you can master this stitch after just one or two repeats. 
here's the right side where you can see the almost cable-like texture of where we purled three together. And looking at this, after a few more repeats, you can see the um, ribbing that's formed by our alternating stitches and like I said before, the almost cable-like twist of the purl three togethers. And so this is a great stitch for a lot of texture and with getting a cable-like effect without having to juggle a cable needle as you work. So this easy four row repeat, like I said, is so, so convenient to memorize, which makes knitting projects with this stitch a breeze. If you've got any questions for us, reach out in the comments and tune in again soon for more knitting tutorials. Mm -hmm.